in a track week by Gay Waterhouse. Gay Piero, uh, like all the three-year-olds, having a big season against the older horses. Um, how's he going towards the Doncaster where he's the firm favourite? He deserves to be the firm favourite on what he's done in this preparation. And, of course, if you go back to him as a two-year-old, couldn't be happy with him. Absolutely superb, the work he did this morning on the course proper. And, the, and it was a rain-affected, and it could easily be on Saturday. He's in grand form. He'll give him a great sight. He's such a good cold. He goes from strength to strength, and there's no reason in your eyes he's taking a backward step. He's going forward all the time. Always going forward. Really exciting horse. Really, we're, so, we're so blessed to have such a good horse here. Doncasters are hard to win, Gay. Uh, big field, plenty of horses going around, but he should take it in his stride. He'll take it in his stride. I think he can win the race. He's the dominant horse in uh, Australia. He's going super. He's beaten his rivals at Wait for Edge. He goes back to handicap. Uh, I've had a number of, won a number of Doncasters and with three-year-olds, and I've won a number of Epsom, similar type race, over the same distance. And if you've got a, a, a superior three-year-old, they've usually got an edge on the others. With Pierre Gay, there's been a little bit of talk around the place of retirement being imminent. He's a valuable colt. Let's, let's hope not. We'd love to see him for a bit longer. Well, look, you know, there's a lot of money involved and, uh, he, you know, they would like to have him either racing or standing at stud. Uh, that's for uh, Greg Kolovos and, and uh, people to work out. But he'll certainly be at the Doncaster. We'll be able to see him. Okay. Let's touch on the two-year-olds, Gay, the Keith Mackay and the Fernhill. Firstly, the Keith Mackay, Aztec Rose, Major Conquest, a couple of different styles of filly and different form lines coming in for this race. Yes, Major Conquest was outstanding when she ran a place in the Group 2 leading up to the slipper. I think she can win this race. Aztec Rose is the most lovely filly. It's run some very good races and she'll run, she'll run well again. I've got her in two races and I'll just uh, see today which race suits her best. And you've nommed Hydro for the Fernhill. He's a pretty promising colt up to the mile. I thought it would suit him down to the ground, the 1,600 metres. I thought his runs had been excellent between his win and his run even the other day. You know, he was just back about fifth and he didn't seem to quite get into his rhythm properly. But, it, you know, if he, he's out there and he's up on the speed, you'd think he'd be very hard to beat. Gay, correct me if I'm wrong, if my maths is right. You've won seven... Doncasters. I believe your famous father has won seven as well. What would it mean to you personally to make it eight and just go one ahead? Oh, well, I'm not trying to make Dad's <laughs> record. Uh, but all I can say is that I've got a very good chance in winning the Doncaster and if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. But I've got a, a wonderful colt and an excellent jockey and a track that we train on and race on. So, you know, we've got a couple of things up our sleeve. Enjoy.